Hey, Joe here. Here's a quick editing trick. Uh, if you need to quickly um, separate a track, a single track into two tracks, so you can treat them differently, this is a quick way to do that. Example, uh, mixing this song that has these guitars on the intro, and the guitars I've got panned left and right, but then between phrases, the left guitar is just doing a chicka, chicka, chicka. I'd like that chicka, chicka to be up the middle. I'd like the playing to be on the left. So here it is here. How can you act? Now, I could automate the panning to go back and forth, but I think a different way of doing it, the way I'm about to show you, will actually be quicker. So here's what, it's, what I'm going to do, and here's what it entails. Take the track and duplicate it completely. Now, this should work in any DAW, um, and we'll call this Guitar 1 Chuck, because it's the chucking rhythm. Now, we're going to group these together, so when I, whatever I do to one happens to the other. But before I do that, I'm going to take the bottom one, and uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to group them together. I'll come back to that in a second. So when I click on one, I'm working on both. So now I can quickly go through and I can edit it and separate the chuck sections from the playing section. So Ow. so for the time being, while I'm working on that, I will pan both to the middle so my left ear doesn't get tired. But I'm going to quickly go through and just do that. You can easily see on the waveform which where the chucks begin. So as soon as it slides off right here is where I'm going to edit it. And then I'll go through and over here, obviously here is where the next note begins. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward the video now. There's, you really, you've seen me do it. I just need to do it another several times before uh, I'm done. I'll fast forward the video for that section. And then when I come back, I'll show you what I do with it uh, once I've got them all separated. Okay, I'm back, and you can see how I have divided it up into the chucks and the playing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup them for just a second, and I'm going to take all of this bottom one, everything here, and I'm going to mute the actual audio. So use the whatever shortcut your DAW allows you to where this, the actual audio file itself has been muted. And then, this is actually where it gets kind of fun. Um group them back again together, select everything. So now when I go through, if I just hit my mute shortcut, whoop, look, it mutes the top one and unmutes the bottom one. So I can quickly go through either by clicking them or just go like this. I'm selecting the chuck part on both the top and the bottom guitars. The bottom one is currently muted, but let me make sure that's everything. Yeah, that's it. But now with them all selected, as soon as I hit the sh mute shortcut, it flip-flops. It mutes the top ones and leaves the bottom ones unmuted. That allows me to do a couple of cool things. The first, obviously, is what I mentioned at the beginning, where I can take the chucks and have them up the middle, and I can take the main guitar part and have it pan to the left. That's the main reason. But also, as you can hear, if I leave it up the middle, the, uh, there's, the guitar tone is pretty good by itself. <laughs> But I'd probably like to make that chucka chucka just a little brighter, a little less mid rangey, so it just it cuts through. It isn't quite so waka waka waka. So I would probably just quickly show you do some sort of EQ like this. Now, you could argue that Joe, that's stupid. That's the guitar part is over on the left. He's playing down, 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 and it should stay over to the left. And who knows, my mix, I might end up keeping it to the left, but I still like to have it separated. I've got a separate volume for the chuck part, and also I can EQ that chuck part differently from the main guitar part so that neither one hurts the other. If I EQ for the chuck part, then the guitar tone itself when he's playing will suffer, and vice versa. If I just EQ for the main guitar tone, then that chucky part might sound weird. So that's how it goes. I'm going to leave it like this. Now, you could go through and delete every other piece here if you want. Um, 
I might do that later if I get tired of seeing all the different divisions. Um, but that's how, if you have to do some sort of editing like this, that's the quick and dirty way of doing it without having to resort to a lot of automation. As you know, I don't like to automate if I don't have to. If I can do something like this, this seems to be a better option than automating because I can then EQ the second part separately without having to do EQ automation and all that crazy stuff. Yeah, and that looks a little better. I feel a little crazy looking at it, but it works. So there you go. Hope that was helpful. Happy mixing. See ya.